The Lagos State Governor Babajide Songulu has ordered the reopening of places of worship in Lagos starting from Friday, August 7 for Muslims and Sunday, August 9 for Christians. The Governor also increased the public gatherings capacity from 20 to 50 people. Unlike some states, including the FCT, that have opened up worship centers since June 19, Lagos State, the epicenter of the pandemic, has refused to open worship centers. With this development, it is hoped that the COVID-19 protocols will be observed by worshippers. Joining us to talk a little more on this is Tajuddin Adebanjo, National Secretary, Muslim Media Practitioners of Nigeria. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. What is your reaction to this new development? Well, it's what uh, many uh, religious uh, groups have been yearning for. Now, they've, they've been calling every now and then the government to open religious centers. And they've done a lot of things to pressurize government to open religious centers. So I want to believe that government uh, bow to the, the pressures of the religious leaders to open the centers. It is not that the COVID thing is flattening. We still have, we have not reached the peak. So opening this is more like opening uh, centers are opening the community to more danger. So it is not left for relig various religious centers and communities to see how to take charge of their life. And I, would I, I, was, I was just going to get into that. You know, how, how do you think the mosque will be able to manage the situation when activities take off? As you've just accepted, the, 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 the COVID-19 is still very much around. It is very, very difficult for mosques or churches to manage their members in the sense that one, for, let me take mosques for instance, as soon as Imam starts prayer, he doesn't know what, what happens behind him. So if government is saying that the number of uh, people in the particular mosque should be 50%, once the Imam starts prayer, he doesn't know what happens behind him. So it will be difficult to reduce the number of people that will kill behind them. That is one. Secondly, how many of these religious centers can properly monitor the use of hand sanitizers, washing of hands, use of face masks? I doubt if they can do it properly. Likewise, I swear, in churches, you hold your hands, you hug yourself, you do a lot of things and the like. And you know, it requires singing, dancing. So while people were singing and dancing, you, there is a minimum of hours that you can use this face mask. So, so, uh, so are, you say, are you therefore saying you don't agree with the government's directive and the decision to open up churches and mosques? Sincerely, we are not ready for this. Because even those uh, areas that is open before more religious centers go to market, go to a park, you will see that people hardly use face masks in markets. In parks, government ordered that, for instance, these uh, example buses should be carrying two passengers at the back, but they have they've returned to three passengers. You, you don't, those example drivers, they don't use antisnizers again unlike before. So it means that we are not that disciplined to contain the, the spread of this virus. But because there are pressures here for, for every angle to, for go, um, government to open the center, so government has to do what it needs to do, just to uh, how to pressure or just to ensure that, okay, if this is what you want, we are giving it to you. So it is not left for you to now know how to take out of your, uh, of your life. So to, to me now, government is leaving the act of uh, taking care of our lives into our hands. So whatever you do with your life, you, you, you have yourself to blame for it. Right. And let, people, should, people should remember that we don't have enough spaces at isolation centers. Lagos is having a, a lot of numbers. So, and Lagos is even closing two of those isolation centers now in the speech of the governor. So what do we do? How do you go about it? So, so, um, so what would you advise... Um, imams and church leaders at a time like this, like you said, you know, you believe that this order is coming because they had pressurized um, the Lagos State government to reopen these places. So what would you advise them at a time like this? Um, well, with... 
My what? advice is what happened in America. A particular community told Donald Trump when he opened the centers and like that, look, we will not open our own religious centers because the rate of COVID-19 is still increasing. So for those who really understand what this COVID-19 is all about, theirs is to let government know that we are not ready for this and they should try as much as possible to sensitize their people. But for those who feel that, look, we've missed a lot of things, we've lost a lot of money, our spiritual activities has, has gone down low, and the likes, and so, much, so many other things. If they think that they will be able to manage it, well, no problem. But what we know is, what we have in Nigeria today, there is no way our religious centers can manage COVID-19.